Hey, welcome back, guys, to the .com. And today we would be working on our sidebar from where you know we would be creating categories or we would be assigning categories to our posts. <clears throat> so without wasting any time, I would be moving to my file, which is createpost.php. So inside the right section, first I would be creating an H2, and uh, I would be saying categories. Okay. Then I would be creating two devs. One would be uh, dev ID list categories. Okay. And uh, inside it, we would be having you know, a couple of uh, uh, checkboxes. So, what I would be doing is uh, I would be you know, creating dev class form elements. Okay. Inside it, I would be having a checkbox. So input type checkbox name would be category name uh, value let's say for now it would be no and ID would be category name okay done and out here let me say category one category one Okay, just uh, I'm creating some dummy checkboxes in order to see how it's looking. So I'm gonna copy it, and here I'm gonna paste it. Now I will be creating another div after the end of the list categories. First, I want to give myself a note, so I'm gonna say end list categories. And guys, you know it's it's really good to uh, comment every single line because later, if you would be looking at uh, you know. A lot of code later it would be easy for you to understand what you did earlier and uh, out here I would be creating another div I want to say create category okay okay here and create category and here I would be saying is yes, uh, Div class form elements. Okay, and out here I would be having uh, a very simple input type text box. Okay, so I'm going to say input type text name would be equal to category create or create category. And the value would be nothing, and ID would be the same as the name. Okay, and you know, we would be using Ajax and jQuery to send it to the server. And uh, once we would be able to create a category successfully, we would be updating this list without refreshing the page. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, where it is? Oh, okay, it is here down on the bottom. Don't worry. So what we would be doing is here where it says uh, width to 40 percent, make it to 33 and give it some margin top to 10 pixels so that it should look uh, like our lift section. Okay, then I can also copy some bottom radius and bottom styles from the top. I mean refresh. Okay, 33 is still more. Let's say. 31 person okay now it's fine it's here on the top now for the right edge two we can give the same styles as we have for our left section so let's say dev id right section h2 and i'm gonna paste all the styles that provided to this particular edge two okay now they both look same and what else we can do is you can say here the class form elements input type equals to checkbox. Okay, refresh. Now I will be using Firebug in order to see where actually they are. So I'm going to say margin, right to let's say 5 pixels, 
that's fine and then say margin top to minus one pixel okay guys this look perfectly fine now I'm gonna copy it and I will paste it back here one more thing guys I have changes earlier I was you know having div I div class form elements input I have changed it and I have you know made it more specific with input type equals to text so if you won't have in your style sheet you can get it right now and uh, here from here we would be creating our categories but uh, first you know let's design it I would be going to my HTML markup and I would be saying place holder to add new category okay come back refresh here we have okay and I have a div call div id create category so I want to say div id create category uh, let's say do one more thing div id create category input refresh and here I would be saying width to 70 percent increase it a bit here okay then I'm gonna say padding to four pixels not to five okay let it be say seven pixels okay that looks fine and now we can you know give it some padding top so as a padding top to 10 pixels or make it 30 pixels okay paste it here and paste the input styles here so I'll come back to refresh or you know if you want you can give some kind of a heading out here create uh, category or here you can say list of categories something like that okay anyways I'm gonna change the padding here on div class form elements to 9 from 12 because 12 is way too more. Okay, so that's I believe done. Now what we can do is we would be you know writing some jQuery and Ajax. Once the person gonna give a category name here, they're gonna hit enter. We only would be refreshing this particular area, and we would be showing that category out here. So. What we need to do is we need to create a JS file. So out here, I would be saying create cat.js. Okay, open it here. I would be saying, and you know, the start of the function, let the DOM be ready, then only perform anything. And then I would be loading anything in order to make sure that we are able to include the file successfully. So out here. Here on the top, I would be including this file. So I would be saying script type would be text JavaScript, source would be JS slash create cat dot JS. Okay, come back, refresh. So here it says some blah blah blah. That means we are able to include our file successfully. What we can do is, okay, I'm gonna take it out. First, uh, I have to see this particular text box ID. Okay, it has an ID of category create. So what I'm gonna say is dollar id category dot live click function live 
click function and here I'm going to say e okay then I'm going to say if e dot which is equals to equals to 30 that is the code for our inner key alert some blah 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 and guys here uh, it does not need to be a click function I'm really sorry it needs to be key up once you know a person uh, is using the keys and once they are done with pressing a key then or you can you know say key press that's fine too let's try with key press first and if that key code is equal to 13 that is uh, our enter key then go ahead and alert some blah 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 so refresh so let's see I press enter and I did it for me if I'm gonna press any other key it's not gonna do anything but if I'm gonna press enter it's gonna do it for me okay then what I'm gonna do is I would be creating a variable I'm gonna say var category name would be equals to dollar this this is the reference to the particular element we created out here okay this only means to this particular uh, element dollar this dot value and then let me say alert category name okay so I'm gonna refresh and now if I'll press enter it will uh, you know alert whatever I have wrote out here so if I'm gonna say uh, hey dude and out here it says that so it would be really easy for her for us to capture it and send it to our PHP file and you, then you know submit it to our database so again uh, now out here I won't be alerting anything what I would be doing is uh, I would be writing some agents 